hello guys welcome back to yet another video if you're new here my name is shazi and welcome to my channel if you are a returning viewer thank you for the loyalty i really appreciate you all in today's video i will be sharing some reasons why foundation appears cakey on your skin and, way, and ways in which you can fix it to have a flawless makeup look so if you're ready let's begin Here I've just washed my face and I haven't applied anything yet. So tip number one is to moisturize your face. Skin preparation is very essential for you to achieve a flawless makeup look and moisturizing is part of this skin preparation. I mean you can't have a 2 on skin preparation and expect a 10 makeup look in the end. It just doesn't work out like that. So here I'm using the coconut oil to moisturize my face. You can use any moisturizer that you have. Tip number two is to use a primer that benefits your skin. Here I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Primer because of my oily skin. You can however use a dewy or hydrating primer if you have dry skin, provided you're using primer that works well with your skin type. If you have a normal skin, you can use a normal primer before you apply your makeup on. The next tip is on makeup applicators and I'm going to talk about the beauty blender and a brush. Use a beauty blender if you want thin coverage of your foundation or if you're going for a natural makeup look. On the other hand, you can use a brush for full coverage of your makeup or if you're going for a full face makeup look. Now if you have dry skin, using a beauty blender to apply your makeup is advisable because it has some moisture that will help keep your skin hydrated. Alternatively, if you have oily skin, Using a brush is good because it does not absorb any products and doesn't add any moisture to an already oily skin. Tip number four is to use little foundation. This is the most important thing to note if you want to prevent your foundation from caking. Use little product then build up coverage to your liking as you blend it to your skin. Tip number five is to focus more of the product on creaseless areas, which is the cheeks, forehead, and the neck areas. Leave out the areas that have fine lines and are more likely to crease like under the eyes, around the nose, and around the mouth. In short, blend your foundation outwards. Then what is left on the blender is what you can lightly apply in these creasing areas at the center of your face. You don't want to focus more of the foundation at the center of your face if you want a flawless foundation look. Number six is to use a setting powder and setting spray that works best for your skin. Use a light setting powder to set your foundation and use it in little amount like one dip is enough. If you're going to set with compact powder, also use very little of this. After that, set your makeup with a setting spray to allow your foundation to last all day. You can see the glow that comes after applying the setting spray. Now I like to go over my makeup with the same beauty sponge I used to apply the foundation after applying the setting spray just to make sure the setting spray melts well into my skin. The last tip is to use a tissue paper or translucent powder to blot your face. It's good to blot your face using a tissue paper or blotting paper to get rid of excess makeup that might be unwanted or unnecessary. Now if you find yourself sweating through the day, use a translucent powder to touch up the makeup 
but avoid adding more powder on top of the makeup because this will increase the chances of foundation caking on you. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed watching and I've learned something new. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and don't forget to share with your friends so they can also learn something. Also subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet and let's grow together. That's all for today. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye!